What if tomorrow morning, the Yellowstone supervolcano erupted? Not a small eruption, not even a big one, but a full catastrophic super eruption. One powerful enough to change the map of the United States in a single day. At the heart of it all sits the red total destruction zone. Wyoming, Idaho, and parts of Montana would be completely wiped off the map. Within minutes, everything within hundreds of miles is gone. Scorched by fire, crushed by falling debris, and buried under meters of volcanic ash. No rescue, no warning, just instant destruction. Beyond that lies the hot ash zone, states like Utah, Colorado, and the Dakotas. Here, the eruption wouldn't kill instantly, but the aftermath would. Toxic air, ash so thick it blocks the sun, roofs collapsing, entire cities buried alive beneath gray powder. The skies would stay dark for weeks, maybe months. Then comes the raining ash zone, stretching into Kansas, Oklahoma, and parts of the Midwest. Ash would fall like snow, clogging engines, poisoning water, and choking the air. Flights grounded, crops destroyed, power grids offline. Life wouldn't end here, but it would stop being normal. Finally, the coasts, the relatively safe areas. Places like California, Florida, and the Northeast might escape the worst of the ash, but safe doesn't mean unaffected. Temperatures would plummet, sunlight would fade, and the world would enter what scientists call a volcanic winter. Billions of tons of ash would circle the planet. Harvests would fail, food chains would collapse, and the U.S., and for the first time in history, would face mass migration within its own borders. The last Yellowstone super eruption happened about 640,000 years ago. So, will it happen tomorrow? Almost certainly not. But if it did, the United States as we know it would vanish, leaving behind only silence, ash, and a reminder of just how fragile life on this planet really is.